Here we go. Rogers versus Bentonville West. We six matchup. We are underway. Bentonville West will receive the kick at the ten yard line. And this is a lot of room. All the way inside the forty. Cam three is completely dead. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. You got to give me something to go to because I got nothing on there. That was AJ Moss on the return. And I don't want the same. So move it in more than here. Zoom in on that. Yeah, because yeah, I want to go to your. Look, I want to go to you, and then I'll go to this. After that was AJ you. Moss the same thing on the return there. A little tighter. No, that's further out. Okay, down. All right. There you go. Right there. So I'm going to go to you. Stay still. Look. Look, don't move. I'm on, look, I'm on there. Okay, now as soon as the play starts. First down and 10 for Bittenville West. Go to the bigger, wider camera. Do you have record now? Okay, okay, I, I don't know why I don't have a quarterback. Under the direction of quarterback. Oh, lost the football in the first play. I think the Mounties recovered it. I think Jordan McKibben fell on it. Mounty's got the football at the 45-yard line. Wow, what a start. Jordan McKibben falls on it. And they gave it to Nick Whitlatch, the tailback. He lost the football in the first play of the game. Okay, hey, Matt. I don't know what you got to do, but I got to have a signal. So back, find me somewhere to get me a signal. Like back up on the track if you have to and get me the band or something. I gotta have, I mean, no signal I can't do. Gotta have a signal, huh? There you go. Give me the band. Give me, okay, I just lost you again. All right. Hunter in the gun with Aaron Rendon in the backfield. I gotta have a signal. I got. What a start for Rogers. They're gonna give it to Aaron Rendon. He's able to fall forward for about three yards on first down. I got a signal finally. Junior tailback, uh, starting in his third game of the season. Still without uh, Sammy uh, Zammer on there, star tailback last year. And in the one half he played this year, he went nuts. Scored three touchdowns. Oh, that was, I'm going to you. Okay. That guy there's in and out a lot. All right. You ready? Yeah. Wait a minute. We're getting an unsportsmanlike conduct on Rogers right now. There's no room on this. I mean, what? Well, I think. Okay, look, did, I think they threw the flag on Coach Bigham, the offensive coordinator for Rogers. You just moved while I was on you. Look, here's what I want from you. Look, here's what I want this camera to be. I want this camera to be the close-up camera, and then once. Once the play starts, see, look, we'll be on the close-up camera here. Okay. And then, look, right here, see how we're here? Then once the play starts, we'll click over to this. Okay, so just leave it right see, here. Start up close, back out, and then hopefully we can go to the field cam, but... Uh, so the Mounties continue right, to move so back. Uh, We're having a little bit of technical difficulties in here. Hey, Jeez. Okay, I am... Why don't you move up to the, the 25? I did not see what happened. You got to get closer. I got nothing. 
Hunter back to pass, throws it to the sideline. It's way too high for Noah Goodshield. Yeah, we might have to get on the other side. I mean, we Sheesh. gotta get somewhere. I got a signal. I gotta have a si There you go. Fine. Yeah, you're just flickering. Well, I got. I mean, we right now we got nothing. So. Hunter with a quick throw out to Mason Ross. He gets to the 35-yard line. They're still nowhere near the line of scrimmage. All right, Aaron. I think we have another flag down in the backfield. But hey, you see how you got to be able to start it. We're going to get another unsportsmanlike. We are. Or Rogers looks like. If it's an unsportsmanlike on uh, West, it's an automatic first down. What is going on? Okay. You got to give him something to go to, Chance. He's got a blank screen here and nobody to go to. You see where he just put the ball? On Sportsmanlike on Bentonville West, I don't know what just happened, but it's going to be an automatic. That's a good shot to have. I, don't, I thought on Sportsmanlike was automatic first down. Maybe not. If he's got that shot, then he can move later. Yeah. So I'll just leave it right here. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. You know, are you switching to him or not? There you go. Still is fourth down. Good job. So you want to do public? Is it public? Uh, yes, it's public. I don't know what we've done here. You were on some random weird website. No, this is this is the stream. Oh, Matthew. It's yeah, it's public. I mean, I'll have, if you want me to look it up, just give me my MacBook. I can't do it. Here's Mason punting it away. And the he actually tried to return the football across the 10-yard line. That's not going to be good field position at all for West. So, wow, the the that was one of the craziest... I couldn't even see what was happening with all the unsportsmanlike penalties. There must have been something. There must have been some fighting or some constant jawing going on. Oh, no, I meant the other way. Yeah, towards us. That way we can get closer. All right, Chance, going to you in three, two, one. Here's a handoff and a lot of room for Willow. He's going to score. Nick Whitlatch, he's going to go all the way. There's a flag down in the backfield, though. This is going to be an 88-yard run inside the five. There is a flag. There's a chance this is coming back. There's a shot. This is coming back. The Benville West tight, uh, Wolverines are already walking back. It is coming back. A holding call on Bentonville West. Unbelievable. That wipes off an 86-yard carry. There Um. Yeah, we still have no signal down there. No. Any recommendations? I already told him what to do. Move closer and he won't do it. Where is he? He's all the way back there. I don't see him. Where is he? He's uh, right against the wall. Um, uh, well, I'll tell really you if anything changes. Fix that thing. But, fix that thing. Guarantee you. It probably is. You're going to have to stay right there. Who made this, Kearney? Yeah, it's no signal. Well, the holding call sets them back at the, their own five-yard line, half the distance of the goal. So it'll put them at the six-yard line. An 84-yard run wiped off by a holding call by Bentonville West. Unbelievable. They give it to him again. Nice tackle. 
Stay right there. Three, two, one. Tackles him before he could get back to the original line. Mm. Had he broke that one, he was gone. Stay out there for like All right, has, five Are we minutes. getting anything on there? I think we'll, if we can't get anything then, we'll probably call you in and see what happens. No, we ain't calling him in. We're going to move him. All right, going to upstairs. Here's Will Jarrett, pumps, going deep, deep for Jonas Higson, and incomplete, he was out of bounds. No, that was Steven Dyson, excuse me. He was trying to find him. Made the catch, and he was well out of bounds when he did make the catch. Bring up third and 11 for West. Pretty good coverage there from Elijah Bigham, who they just moved to corner last week. He was one of their go-to receivers before they moved him. They do have Chris Francisco playing corner as well. Here's Will Jarrett All right, the stepping up, and he's going to get taken down. Only picked up about a yard. Marion Slater makes the stop, the sophomore running back slash linebacker. And then he's got your close shot, then he's got the wider out shot to switch to get him two different angles. Yeah, you don't want to what a play. Maybe it's just enough to see like, the backs of, of the players right in front of you. Uh, Give me game punt. Huh? Give me get the punt. Oh, we see you. We see you. There's a sick. Oh, it's gone. Um, chance to move in on wherever the ball stops. It's a high punt, but it's not very far. It will take a pretty nice bounce into Rogers' territory. They'll have it at their own 46-yard line to start this drive. Is it? Here's the handoff. Nowhere to go for Aaron Rendon. This offense really started off strong this year, but the last couple of games they have been almost absent from each game. Like they have just not been moving the ball at a steady pace at all against Van Buren and Fayetteville. Really since conference play started. Four wide. Here's the rollout to the right. Hunter sees nobody open. Now just chucks it incomplete looking for Chris Francisco in the middle of the defense. Can bring up third down and long. Sue me. Sue me. Hunter in the gun. Rolling to his right. I can hear you. Finds Chris for a first down across the 35 yard line. Let me get the mouthful. Almost ran a strong flood play. And they hit Chris on the out for the first down. Um, Matthew, actually, we're, Mr. Davis just went down to go to you. So. Alright, you good? Alright. Just stay tight. Alright, switching back to you. Hunter with a quick throw, and the receiver fell down. Noah Goodshield fell down on the play. He was really did well against Van Buren in his time that he played. One of the future playmakers on this team. Just a sophomore. Not a very big guy either, only 5'7", 140 pounds. But he's got lightning speed. Here's Hunter. Looking deep. Ross has got a couple of steps. Oh. And he can't hang on. Dropped it at the five-yard line. Oh, that's a tough one. Burned his burned his uh, corner there, but could, just could not haul it in. It's all right. Third down coming up.
Third down and 10. Here's Hunter. Oh, they got all kinds of pressure coming after him, and he's just going to have to take the sack out of bounds. He'll lose about two yards. Going to bring up fourth down and 12 for the Mounties at about the 45-yard line of uh, West. Oh, man, that one hurt. Mason will have to punt it away. Not yet. All right. Switching. Switch, switching back. And that's another nice punt, but it will. Um, what did he say? Go into the back of the end zone for a touchback. Seven thirty-two to go here in the first quarter. No signal. All right, switching to you. <laughs> Quarterback Dalton McDonald right, looking to throw to the left side. He's got. Steven Dyson over there, but he way overshot him. Steven's been their go-to guy this year, no doubt about it. Last year against Rodgers, the man went nuts. He had, I think, had three catches, and all three of them were touchdowns. Hand off to Nick Whitlatch. He is tripped up before he could get to the second level. Oh, Matthew, I see you. Grayson Daniels makes the clutch tackle right there. That would have been a TD. Oh, I see him. Instead, it's only third and about five. They need the 30 for a first. Third down, and I think Bentonville West moved. Quarterback better chill. He just chucked the ball. Just spiked the ball out of uh, frustration there. Don't get another uh, unsportsmanlike, bro. So it's going to be third and ten. Another big third down here. A stop will likely force a punt. Going back to they are going to play action fake. Dalton McDonald's going to run. And he is not going to get the first down. He's going to be about a yard shy as he's forced out of bounds at about the 28. Markham actually at the 29. So it's going to be fourth and one for Bentonville West. And they might go for this. They are inside their own 30, but it's only fourth down and one. This would be a clutch tackle right here for Rodgers. No Trying to get the Mounties to jump there. Oh, and they're just going to use a timeout. Try to get the Mounties to jump, and they would not budge, so they're just going to use their first time out of the half here with six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Still 0-0, zero to zero, the Mounties. So far, the defense has been clamps, but the offense has done nothing so far. Almost had a TD. Good to be back at... Uh, Good to be back home. We haven't had a home game in a in a long time, it feels like. I think the last three weeks. We'll be away next week, though, for uh, Springdale. Okay, West has brought out their punt team. No, uh, it's a shaky one, but yeah, it's there. 
Brandon Humes, is that it? They are going to punt. That's a much better punt. That's going to bounce all the way to the Mounties, inside the Mountie 25-yard line. Pretty nice punt there. Mounties are going to be backed up. This offense really struggling in the past couple of games. Looked like they had a touchdown earlier, but Ross could quite haul it in, so has a chance to redeem himself here. Only one safety high for Bentonville, for Bentonville West. Here's Aaron Rendon on the carry. And he picks up about three yards. That's kind of been his average this season. He's about three to four yards. You know, nothing bad about that. He's kind of a workhorse. You'd love to see him break one, though, sometime. And I think he's right on the cusp of doing that. Signal. I'm going to get us out of the band real quick. They fake it to him. Hunter's got a man wide open, and it's Chris Francisco across the 40. Move the sticks. A first down for Rodgers. I'm back on. All right. Got the ball. Went play action. Kind of went a play action slide there. And found uh, Chris in the middle of the defense. Um, Try pointing towards the field. Five and a half now to go in the first quarter. That's a good challenge. Going back to chance. Right. Hand off to Aaron Rendon. And he's able to pick up about four or five there on the outside sweep. Going back to upstairs. Right. First down runs. At least they're staying ahead of the sticks. stretch but is it possible to go to the middle of the stands no um, well uh, try to move just Mounties are going to use a timeout as the play clock winds right a little so you can get the tent out of your field of vision I got a huddle go, go to the huddle Well, it's been a defensive showdown right now. We have signal, Matthew. Right there. Maybe you can go just to the right a bit more until the um go to the right until the tent is out of view. Oh. <laughs> we want to give a big time shout out to Cole James watching the stream right now. Down by the band for him to be. Oh, that's good. There. That's good. <laughs> I mean, there's like nowhere for him to be uh, down there. Almost. He's kind of in the way, but we told him. To Hope you're doing great, Cole. Hey, I would use him more on the band here because you can't really get the football team for where Missing you today, big man. 6'2, 185. An absolute unit. Point you at the band, and, and we go to you whenever the band is playing. How about that? Until the yeah, until the place gets down there. Is that yours? I like that. Gee, that's a nice field shot there. We have a signal. Here's the give to Aaron Rendon. We can just get you on the band whenever. Nothing doing. Going to bring up about third and six again. I don't think he got back. Yeah. I think he did get back to the line of scrimmage. Mounties need the uh, yeah, Bentonville West 47-yard line for a first down. Yeah. Just uh, get a good shot at them whenever they're playing. Got the ball. To you. Well, not now because there's no way he can get the big game. I mean, hey. Yeah, and that's a point down a little. All right. And that's a good 
good shot. Going back up. Hunter on third down, and he completes it for a first. Forward progress will give Noah Goodshield the first down. The sophomore 5'7 wide receiver. Makes his first catch of the game. Had a really impressive uh, showing against Van Buren. And he's getting some reps today. Four wide here. They bunch it up to the uh, left side. Hunter's looking over there. Now he's under pressure. Just chucks it out of bounds. Smart thing to do there. Well, the play is, the, the play is almost caught up with him. He, he Less Second down coming up for Rogers. Hey, let's start with him and then switch to the next one whenever they. Oh, and Matthew, try pointing down a little because we have a we need more, too much head room. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, that's a good shot. Ah. Going back up. Hunter's pass is batted down by Jonas Hickson, the big fella, coming in on the edge rush. Bring up third down and 10 at the 45-yard line. All right, going to chance three, two, one. Good. Oh, Ooh, you're going to switch back. Yeah, chance you're going to watch it because that thing will fall asleep. Better. Here's Hunter in the gun for third down. They're going to try to screen pass to Chris. Makes a nice cut. But there's just not enough room. Only picks up about two yards. Going to bring up fourth down and eight. And the Mountie offense again stalls out. Had a pretty steady drive going. Oh, Mason just pooched this one. Oh, tough break for the Mounties. It's only about a two or three yard, actually. I think that's a one yard punt. The line of scrimmage was at the 45 and he punted it to the 46. So a one yard punt. Shanked it pretty bad there. Joe and Lene Hinsworth. I wish y'all would be a little more positive. No. No need to hate on uh no need to hate on uh Aaron Rendon. He's working really hard. As soon as this plays over, go back to the band if you can. No need to hate. Here's a s sweep to Steven Dyson. Oh, he's got a lot of room. Good seal off by the O line. And he's gonna pick up about twelve yards across the forty five of Rogers. On the jet sweep. point down. Good, good. Going to you. Wes is already at the line. They're trying to get some tempo here. Here's the handoff to Nick Whitlatch. He'll get to the 40 yard line, gain of about four. You're doing good. Good job. These receivers for West are big. They got 6'2", Jonas Hickson, 6'3", Nolan Schmidt, and Steven Dyson's about 6'1", but pump fake going deep. Good coverage by Jordan McKibben, and he bats it away. That is textbook coverage by Jordan McKibben. It's going to be third and six. Wait, a, what a job by McKibben there to get his head around. And avoid the pass interference call and also bat the football away on the deep ball. That is textbook coverage by the junior corner. Alex, this is Scott Davis stepping in for a minute. And I'll tell you, the Mountie fans have to like what they're seeing so far. From the defense, yes, sir. Um, uh, there's going to be a first down run for Nick Whitlatch. He barely picked it up. And... The fans that probably would like to see a little more offense, but I think they like what they're seeing. 
Uh, the student section's filled up pretty good. It's cold, but they're still here. This is the coldest game we've had uh, so far this year. It's about 40 degrees out. Hand off to Nick Whitlatch, and there's the one that he'll break. Touchdown. Bentonville West, they punch it in from 33 yards out. 33-yard touchdown by running back Nick Whitlatch. You got to pull that off and change it. Oh, sorry. Just ran right through him. Which one's yours? Oh, you're not on. No, I'm, I turned me off on purpose. That's a rocket of an extra point, and it is good. 7 0. Seven zero West. We have about a minute and a half to go in the first quarter. Mountie offense really needs to get some some type of flow. They just they've been really stagnant the past couple of games. What and do you what do you see as the key to that, Alex? What do you think they need to do? Well, the running game has really not worked right, since uh. Since week one, since Sammy left, they have had no run game, um, and it really that really helps. It hope that really opens it up for Hunter, takes the pressure off of him. But lately, he just hasn't been able to do that. And they've most teams have been coming out in a cover two man, and they can't bring this. They can't bring the safety up. So we Rogers just can't uh, can't get any deep passes because there's no concern with the run game. Harder to get big plays. Go ahead, I'll just. West has not done that though. I think they've run more of a cover one. But Fayetteville and uh, Van Buren really shut that down. Well, the the Mounties are staying close to a team that handily beat Fayetteville. West did. I don't know what's going on with this kickoff. It, this is they delaying it. Is the wind is the wind like blowing the ball over? I I didn't see it get blown over. Do you get the sense that maybe the players are feeling there's a chance for an upset here tonight? I mean, it's still early, but they've got some momentum tonight for sure. See what the offense can do, though. The offense is trying to move the ball, but lately they just stalled out. We got a minute 47 to play in the first quarter. Rendon is due for a fumble. That's kind of mean. Don't be hating on the. Who said that? Lene, Joe and Lene Hensworth. Oh. Hey, we want to uh, give a shout out to the fans who are watching on our YouTube channel. Don't insult the players, please, though. Oh yeah, we'll have. We don't want to have to disable comments. Um. Here's the jet sweep to Mason. He's going the wrong way. Able to weave his way back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose about a yard, but could have been a lot worse. There was not a ton of blocking on the jet sweep. Uh, Alex, while we got a quick break in the action, I want to give a shout-out to Aaron Chestnut for running our live switcher tonight. He's doing a great job. Uh, and we got Chance Coleman up here in the, film, in the studio uh, running a camera. And we got Matt Welburn down on the field. Well, we had him on the field, but we moved him a little closer to the band, and he's doing a great job with the wireless, so we appreciate their help. Ooh, almost. That one was nearly intercepted by uh, Brandon Humes. 
Tried to find Chris in the middle of the defense again. Bring up third and long again. This offense just cannot get any push. Which is a big change from what we saw in the first week, first couple of weeks. Do you think that they wave Logan off the field? Hold up, third and eleven. All right. Hunter's got time. Oh, that's not even close. Incomplete. Way over through Mason Ross. There it looked like some miscommunication. They're gonna punt. Have to punt again. Right. Three and out. Appreciate everybody watching. We want to. Same. Same says hi. Hello, Same. This is a little bit of a better punt. Takes a nice bounce. Wow, really nice bounce. Gets all the way inside the 35-yard line of uh, Bentonville West. Well, we're glad to see Same watching. He's one of our up-and-comer. Uh, Broadcasting kids doing a great job this year, and his he and his team. So we're glad to have him watching. We'll hope to have him helping us with another live stream. Who else we got up there? Oh, no. Just Joe and Lene. Hand off to Nick Whitlatch, and he gets free, and he's gone. Say goodbye. Nick Whitlatch will take it home. Touchdown for West. That's his second TD of the first quarter. Sheesh. Takes it 66 yards. I mean, once he gets past that first line of defense, there is nobody that's going to stop him. There's nobody back there. They have nobody lined up behind the. Uh, well, it looked like he was pretty deep before anyone that re actually realized what was up. Well, they have nobody lined up. They have no safeties. <laughs> Kick is up and good. 14 nothing West. Forty seconds to go in the first quarter. It's been a pretty long first quarter, but the defenses have it's honestly been a defensive matchup until a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, those two quick plays and then it went from changed, a, changed everything, no doubt. Zero zero to two plays later. Well, it's like you said earlier, Alex. You, you got to get the you got the offense has got to generate some first downs. Otherwise, you just wear your defense out. And they defense has done a good job. But this West right. team is explosive. They can they can bust loose quickly. No doubt. They, that's what they've been doing. I mean, this is a team that handled a, a good Fayetteville team pretty easily. This one will be returned. Grayson, I think that's Grayson, returns it across the 20, but gets to about the 24-yard line. The uh, visiting Wolverines brought a pretty good crowd with them. Wow, tonight. they re they really did. Look at that student section over there. It's a pretty good, pretty good. It's a pretty close game for them, but you usually don't see that many fans on the away side. No, they filled it up. Mounties down 14-0. Really need some offense. 
They're going to try to give it to Aaron Rendon, and he's going to get his three yards. That's what he guarantees you. He'll guarantee you some positive yardage. He's a very north-south runner. We will end the first quarter on that one. 14 nothing West. Oh, I'm about to. You're uh, pointing up a little. It's honestly closer than the score says. Let's go to these guys. We'll be right back in just a sec. We are back, second down and seven from the 27. Hunter on the play action, and he overshot Chris there. Defense stays struggling. Excuse me, offense stays struggling here. Another third down, though. This one a little more manageable, third and seven. They've got Jose Ruiz in there at tight end. Here's the third down. Hunter going deep, and it's an overthrown for Mason. That was Steven Dyson on the coverage. Mason punting it away. He's been pretty busy tonight punting the football. Steven with a fair catch at the 47. Yeah, Market at the 48, his own 48. West will set it up. First down. Here's Dalton McDonald, the quarterback, going deep. Stevens open. Incomplete. Flag is down. Jordan McKibben's going to get flagged for pass interference. He did. Didn't get his head around. A lot of contact. Fumble on the play. Dalton McDonald going to have to make a play happen. Not going to happen. He's going to lose about five. Sorry. He's going to lose about three. <laughs> He's actually able to fight, push the pile for like an extra two yards, but still loses three.
He only lost two yards at that. Now they're saying he only lost two yards. That's crazy. He fumbled the ball seven yards behind the... Here's a handoff to Nick Whitlatch this time. The Mounties clog it up. Only about... Eh, I don't even think he got a yard. He's going to bring up third down. and a, They're going to say he picked up a yard. Third and 11. Get fired up, Mounties fans. It's third and 11. Third and 10. They send Steven in motion. They fake it to him. Screen pass, and there's all kinds of room. This is going to be a touchdown for Bentonville West. Taking it in is Nolan Schmidt, the 6'2", 170-pound wide receiver. Sheesh. They did the middle screen. Went play action fake. And then hit Nolan Schmidt on the wide receiver mid-screen. Ten minutes to go still in the first. Drills the kick. 21-0 West. It's starting to get there again. Offense must get something going here. Or this is going to start getting ugly. It's and it's turning like it's turning that way. It's a line drive kick, going to get bobbled. Shepard, and he'll slip inside the 15-yard line. Um, Joshua Shepard slips and falls at the, mark him at the 13-yard line. Hunter on the keeper. Only picks up about two yards. Gets to the 16 yard line. That's a gain of two. Actually, gain of three. See if, uh, hey, see if Matthew can get us something from the field down there. He's got a perfect angle. Yeah, I have him give us something. He's right there where he can get the field. Oh, hey, Matthew, if you can get something on the field right now. That would be a great time. Maybe the quarterback. Back. Quick screen to Mason Ross. Gets a pretty nice block from RJ. Gets to the 20-yard line. Get to bring up third and about three. RJ laid the hammer there. Hunter on the keep. There is 
absolutely no room. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Mountie's third down offense today has been non-existent. Time to punt again. That's a th another three and out. I think that's three straight three and outs by Rodgers. Mason will punt again. He's had some pretty good punts today. He's been busy, that's for sure. That one nearly got blocked. He had to get that away quickly. This is not a very good punt. Only pumps it to about the 30-yard line. He's not a natural punter. I mean, he... For, for a guy that, for a receiver, he's a pretty good punter. Well, Benville West is already at the Mounties 27 yard line, thanks to the punt. Three wide receiver, that's a high snap. Give it to Nick Whitlatch, he breaks it to the edge. He'll get across the 20, dragged down at about the 17-yard line by Chris Francisco. Again, they don't have a safety. Here's the rollout. Wide open and dropped. Nearly intercepted on the deflection, too, but just dropped. What number is that? That's a big guy right there. They do. They just dropped the football. I don't know who it is, though. Nope. It's number eight. They don't have a number eight on the raw on their uh, roster. McDonald again on the rollout. It's the same play, and no, now they're going to say incomplete. They tried the same exact play to the same player, and it didn't work both times. Bring up fourth and one from the 18, and yeah, West is definitely going to go for this fourth and one. They might just try to gash it up the middle. Jonas Hickson looks like he's going to line up in the backfield. Yeah, they might just give this to Jonas Hickson. He's lined up behind the quarterback, Donald McDonald, in the pistol. Oh, we might have got movement. Whoa, Sed just came shooting through there. Careful. <laughs> Said just took down one of the O-linemen. <laughs> Man. Defense is just getting worn out. I mean, they've defense is just getting worn out. They've had their stops, but they're on the field for too for too long today. Offense has not given them much of a break. Okay, Matthew, that would be a good time to go back to the band. Yeah, I quickly put it in. All right, they're about to move away from where you are anyway. So, all right, go back. Oh, I got the coach game. <laughs> Fourth down and one. Jonas Higson is the tailback. He's a big fella. They might just punch it with him. There it is. And he's got the first down. Bulls over defenders. First down across the 15-yard line.
First down for West. They try to sweep it with Hickson. He cuts it back. He will bowl his way in. There is a signal. Touchdown. One ref says touchdown. One says he's down. Okay, the official signal is touchdown. Touchdown, Bentonville West. Jonas Higson punches it in from nine yards out. And here we go again. Their kicker rockets that thing through. 28-0, Bentonville West. Nothing. Mountie's ready to get the ball back. We got about seven minutes to go in the second quarter. And this is going to be returned across the 15 to the 19 yard line. That was Jordan McKibben. Here's the handoff to Aaron Rendon. Only picks up a yard there on the inside zone. It's my uh, six forty-eight to go now. Second and nine. This offense has been really stagnant. They sweep it to Aaron Rendon, and he just cannot make anybody miss. He gets only about another yard or so. Bring up third and eight. Hey, look who's helping over at Heritage doing the live stream. What? Well, that's nice. We thought he was Yeah. Oh. And they try to sweep it. Aaron's got to get to the edge. I don't know. It's really close from the way the refs are marking him. He's about a yard shy. And down 28 0, I think you got to go for this. Fourth and one. You really don't have anything to lose. Fourth and a yard. Fourth down and one from the 27 yard line. They need the 28. Their own 27 yard line. Right. 
Give it to Aaron Rendon. Oh, he got stuffed. He did not get the first down. Offense stalls out again. West is already knocking on the door after that one. Screen pass, Steven Dyson. Tripped up, no gain. Jordan McKibben with a nice tackle in the open field. Second down and 11. Hand off. Trying to weave his way. Is that Jonas Hickson on the carry? No. It's a new running back. Number 27, Carlos Hall. Picks up about three yards. Third down and eight coming up. Four down territory for West, so... Mounties are going to need to stop him here in the next two two plays. Over the middle, wide open, and he dropped it. Jonas Hickson was open. Couldn't make the play. Fourth down and eight coming up. Did almost a trail. They had two guys kind of run dig routes, almost like a trail, trail play. Trail dig play. I know that play from Madden. Th fourth down and eight from the 25. And they're going to try to screen pass, and it's not there. Incomplete. The Mounties defense holds up. They tried to catch him off guard. The defense uh, or the offensive line did not move at all. It didn't work. The ball was snapped. The Mounties played on. See if the offense can trudge back out on the field, try to get something going. We got four and a half to go in the uh, first half. Alex, this would be a good place here for the Mounties to sneak in and, and get a score. They need some momentum. Another handoff, Aaron Rendon. Actually picks up a nice gain there. Gets about five. I've got a score from across town. The uh, uh, Bentonville is up 42 to nothing in the first half against the Heritage War Eagles. That well, Heritage Rogers game is going to be fun. We'll have some uh, half scores here at halftime. They keep it on the ground on second down. Aaron picks up about two. Yeah, give him three. Third down and two coming up. Honestly, just give it to him again. Picked up five on the first, three on the second run. Just give it to him again. They got a new running back in there, though. No, that's Aaron. Never mind. Only three wide receiver, uh, another four wide receivers. They got Noah Goodshield split out. They do give it to him again, and he's going to have the first down. Across the 35-yard uh, line to the 36. So three carries by Aaron Rendon. And he just does pick up the first down. Uh, that's a good side to see there, Alex. Now here you might go play action here. See if they open it up a little bit now. Well, we've seen Hunter Lloyd's arm. He can throw the ball. The problem is the receivers can't get open due to the cover two man that... Uh, Bentonville West has played lately. Right. They've, they've had, they have two safeties back there. It's just hard to get open deep. 
There's a nice run again by Aaron Rendon. He'll get to the 40-yard line. It's a gain of about five. If they can establish a run game, force West to bring an extra guy into the box, that could really open up the pass game. Lately, they just haven't been able to do that. The Mounties like seeing a second and five, too. Hunter trying to keep it. He's going the wrong way there. Loses about six yards. Back to third and 11. It'll be third and long coming up. They try to get a little fancy. Looks closer to 10 than 11. It's going to be third and 10. Plenty of time on the play clock. Hunter's got the sleeve on his throwing hand today. I just noticed that. Here's Hunter trying to make a play, buy some more time. Hunter's got to get rid of it, and he's, he's going to get sacked for another big loss. Lost about nine yards. Tried to get a little fancy. Yeah, you hate to see those linebackers coming up to get him. Uh, that, that's hard on a quarterback to have to. Is that what they're throwing there? Well, I didn't see it. Flag is down. I just They just tossed the flag. I didn't see. It looks like it's going to be on Rodgers. Carson Caudill made that tackle. <laughs> the big linebacker. Good for him. Tell him to come on up now and get cool and get warmed up. And so he doesn't. Hey, we want to give a shout out to Matthew Elburn and. Uh, down there standing on the side of the lines and up by the band trying to get us some uh, shots on our wireless camera. We got Chance Coleman up here in the, in the studio running the camera and uh, Aaron Chestnut and Big Alex Kern. So we appreciate you guys doing a great job tonight. And we also want to thank uh, Lori Workman over there running the scoreboard. And uh, as always, in the booth next to us is... Uh, Big Dave Schoen from Kerm Radio. <laughs> Kerm Radio. We got an... Okay, so Rogers got another unsportsmanlike. I'm so lost at all these unsportsmanlikes. You know, Alex, something like this where it looks like you're, you're looking at second and five. <laughs> and then you get... You get <laughs> How a, many? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five... This is like fourth and 35 or something. The ball was on the 40, and now it's on the 10. Yeah, this is fourth and 35. And that's a pretty line drive punt. Gives a nice bounce. Yeah, and it also gives excellent field position to uh, the West. Wolverines with a minute and four left. That's and I think it's almost certain that they're going to try to punch one in here. That's plenty of time for them. They can, against this Rodgers defense, big plays can. This Rodgers defense usually doesn't get worn down. They just give up a lot of big plays. They're just because they don't play any safeties. They might have a safety here on this play, though, just to keep, just for prevent purposes. Well, the refs are having a little powwow down on the field. Yeah, uh, the, the refs got to get it together. Uh, this is a lot of sportsman likes that probably aren't necessary. You know, Alex, one of the things we always get during football season is we start off and it's just burning up hot, and then we're, by the time it's over, it's cold. And here on this Friday night, the cold weather is here. 
It is freezing cold tonight. Here is the handoff. Tripped up before he could get to the end zone was Carlos Hall. Cedric, no, that was Marion Slater making the tackle. They're already at the 30-yard line. 59 seconds to go in the uh, first half. Here's Dalton McDonald stepping up, going deep to the end zone. Steven Dyson dropped it. Incomplete at the one. Oh, nice. Play on defense, it looked like it was down at the one maybe or even a touchdown. Yeah, he, he, did, he didn't control it through the ground. That's That's been the big argument. Should, especially in the NFL, should they allow the, should they count the catch even if he doesn't control it through the ground? But Des Bryant did catch that ball. Um, second down and 10. Here is Dalton McDonald. Going deep, wide open, and he overthrew him. Wide open. That would have been an easy touchdown. Now a big break for the Mounties here, Alex. Bra yeah, Brandon Humes burned uh, Chris there and had a touchdown. Had the ball been even underthrown, he would have probably caught that for a touchdown. Third down and 10. Dalton McDonald, that's a wobbly pass to nobody. Looked like either miscommunication or the ball like slipped out of his hands. Fourth down and 10. Carlos Hall remains the tailback. And Rodgers is going to use their last timeout of the half. Twenty-eight nothing. B Dub leads this one. What just happened? We got 42 seconds to go in the first half. West trying to make this a five touchdown ball game. And off Carlos Hall with a huge hole. Stutter stepped and got to the 15-yard line. Had he probably run faster, he probably could have got to the end zone. Too much stutter stepping. And now West will take a timeout with 36 seconds to go. They're at the 15-yard uh, line. That was a 17-yard run by Carlos Hall.
36 seconds to go. West with four wide receivers lined up. No safety for the Mounties. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Back of the end zone. Fade route. Incomplete. That's good coverage. And they threw the flag. And I got to say, I don't agree with that call. Chris was... Chris had great coverage there. That'll be half a distance to the goal, I guess, and put West at the eight-yard line. From up here, that looked like some good coverage, but... Hand off Carlos Hall. He is not going to do it. Gets maybe a yard. No, they're going to say he got back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. West just uses their last timeout. This has been a long 30 seconds. Twenty-eight nothing, twenty-one seconds to go. Here's Dalton McDonald looking. Wide open is Steven Dyson, and it's incomplete. Batted away again by Jordan McKibben. He has been all over Steven Dyson today. Wow. What a play. Came across the field. He has shut down Steven, who absolutely went nuts last year on Rodgers. Had well over 200 yards receiving and three touchdowns last year. Just went berserk last year. Well, here's a handoff and a touchdown. Nick Whitlatch gets in no problem. It's going to be 34 to 0 with 10 seconds to play in the first half. Sheesh. Snap is good, hold is good, kick is good. 35 nothing. Ten seconds to go. 
about to hit the break. Well, good to see the loyal Mighty fans still here in the freezing cold. Spooch kick, fair caught by Finley at the 22-yard line. That'll move him up, though, to the 25, I think. I thought so. Maybe not. Fair catch, I guess they place it at the spot where you fair catch it. I thought they always moved it up to the 25. Nine seconds to go. You really have nothing to lose trying to take a shot. And he's could get mercy ruled for the fourth game in a row today. Give to Aaron Ridden, and maybe a yard on the carry. And that'll do it. We will be back for some scores later. But uh, it's 35-0, West dominating. We'll be right back.
an arrangement by Kirksey Middle School Band Director, Mr. Nick Moore, features Beatles from Anthony and Dvorak's New World Symphony. <laughs> Thank you.
for our football program. Once again, it's located under the home bleachers. The sound auction will end at the start of the third quarter. We've got two minutes in counting. Yeah. All right, we are about to get back going here, 35 nothing. Rogers is getting blown out here. However, there's a lot of other teams tonight that are getting blown out. Bentonville is at, and uh, Heritage are at halftime. Bentonville leads them 49 to zero. Springdale Harbor leads Springdale 28-10 at half. And Van Buren, or Fayetteville leads Van Buren 46-3 at half. I think we're one TD away from getting Rogers. He's one TD away from getting Mercy Road. I think it's 42 now. It might be the Mercy Road. Uh, we don't know, though. Here we go. Two and a half minutes before we get back into this one. We're expecting this to be a pretty quick. We're expecting this to be a pretty quick second half.
back out to try to make to try to change that quick throw pass is caught by Logan Long good snag by Logan across the 20 gets to pick up about two yards on the quick hitch route. Thought West may have jumped there, guess not. Here's a counter to Aaron Rendon. He finds some room. There goes Aaron Rendon. Finally breaks one. Hit out of bounds across the 45 yard line and he's gonna get flagged. Or the, we're gonna get, uh, West is gonna get a flag for a late hit. Aaron Rendon did not like that hit. He's still yelling at the guy. Man, he gotta chill. They gotta contain him. to Aaron Rennan. He finds some room. Aaron find, starting to find some rhythm across the 20-yard line. He is really going after number 22 on, uh, on West, Maddox Thornton. off Aaron Rendon. This time there's not a ton of room. A lot of John going on in this game. A lot of unsportsmanlike penalties and a lot of uh, a lot of unnecessary action. Quick slant, incomplete for Mason. Bring up third and 10. At the 19 yard line. This is four down territory for Rogers.
Third down and 10, and somebody jumped. Third down and 15. Rogers uses their first time out of the half. Hunter rolling to his right. He might try to do this himself. Now he gets rid of it, and the flag is down for pass interference. That's a good call. They were looking for Noah Goodshield. Corner got there before. Corner got there before the ball did. First down, Hunter throwing it up for grabs and it's incomplete. Tried to make him go get it. Flag is down on the left far side of the field. Gonna get a legal receiver downfield on the mountains. Arkansas gets more illegal receivers downfield than most high school teams. It's crazy, is it not? That's like the first illegal receiver downfield penalty that the Mountains have had all year. I think Arkansas gets about four or five of those a game. Hunter on fourth down to the end zone. That is good coverage. Flag is down. Wow, they're going to get pass interference on West. And I'll be honest, I thought that was pretty good coverage out of West there. Four wide receivers, three to the right. Hunter going with a quick slant, and that was nearly intercepted by Carson Caudell, the linebacker. Carson nearly had the pick. Had he picked that, he had green grass ahead and may have taken it all the way. Nonetheless, pretty nice play by the, by the linebacker. Hand off Aaron Rendon. He's going to get stuffed in the backfield.
Good tackling by West there. Carson Caudill along with Ariel Bradich in there. Sheesh. Three wide. Jose Ruiz, the tight end. Give is to Aaron Rendon, and he will get into the end zone for the Mounties' first touchdown of the game. Nope. It's been a quick uh, third quarter. Clock continues to run three and a half to go. The Mounties get some pride points. Yair Munoz nails the extra point. No. Booch kick, Jonas Hickson will field it. He'll get across the 40 yard line. Wow, only two minutes to go in the third quarter. That was quick. Well, the Mounties really couldn't get rid of the struggles today either. Sadly, they continue just to get burned every game, but they're They've got an opportunity next week against Springdale, who's not as strong as most of the teams in this conference. See if they can uh, make the stat sheet look a little bit better. As uh, West does have in the B team. That's, uh, who is that at quarterback? Aaron Arnold in at quarterback for Bentonville West. Got a pretty tall receiver split out wide. Aiden Klingfost. Looks like he's about 6'3. Doesn't have his uh, listed height here, but he looks pretty tall. Tall and lanky. Red zone target right there. Hand off to Jonas Higson. And I don't think he got a, maybe a couple. Maybe a yard to the 39 yard line. That's uh, 31, not 21. That's Dakota Gaines with the carry. Only a couple more plays probably here in this uh, third quarter. Hand off to Aaron Gaines. Nothing doing. Gonna bring up third and about 12, maybe a couple. Gets across the 40 yard line though. And 
and we are not going to have a play. We're going to go to the fourth quarter. 35-7 to is your score. We'll check in on the scores again, see uh, any uh, if any updates. Nothing really new. 56 to nothing, Bentonville is now ahead of uh, Heritage. Uh, well, that was a good half or a good third quarter for the Mounties. Yeah, it was short, short third quarter. Fayetteville still up on Van Buren, 46 to six, and uh, Harbor up on uh, Springdale. Uh, 35 to 10. Third down for West. They got the B team out on the field. Hand, they do a direct handoff that goes nowhere. Mark him down. At, I think he lost a yard. Lost a yard. Going to bring up fourth and 13 back at the 40. And that will bring out the punting unit for West. Well, West got the blowout win, but seemed a little sloppy in the way they did it. They Not like they dominated this entire game. The defense had some moments for Rodgers, but. Well, they got off to a slow start, Alex. They had to, some turnovers yeah. and bad calls. and They got a sloppy start, but in the end, they pulled through. They had those two fast uh, running scores that went from. That'll roll inside the 30-yard line. Oh, I see. Ooh, the clock stopped. The clock stopped at 10.54. Well, this is the coldest uh, football Friday we've had. It's getting to be football weather. Should be a fun football Saturday tomorrow, too. Here's Hunter looking to throw. Going deep. Ross got a step. He's got the catch. Tripped at inside the 35-yard line. And that's what he needed. Burned his corner, got to the 30-yard line. Well, Mason has proven a good to be a good receiver. He's been a little quiet the last couple games, but. Here's a quick hitch route to Ross. He breaks a tackle and gets to the 20-yard line. Very close to that first down marker. He might have it. You know, that was a good play there, Alex. I mean, that defender should have had him, and he was able to shake that tackle. Yeah. And, Ross uh, isn't really known for breaking tackles or yards after catch, but if he can develop that skill, he could be a deadly receiver, even more deadly than he is. Here's a handoff to Aaron Rendon on the counter, but nice cutback. Hunter going out to block for him. They didn't move the chains. Oh, no, oh, they marked him short. Okay, that's going to be a first down, though. I thought it was already first down. Good cutback by Aaron. He gets inside the 15-yard line. Well, you see the competitive spirit of Hunter Lloyd. He he wants to see his team rally back. Yes. He's never given, never gives up, no matter what time of the game. Bless. Hunter to the end zone. It is caught by Mason. I thought he was in. He is, touchdown, Mason Ross makes the catch on the sideline. Ross has another one. So some garbage time touchdowns for Rodgers. Get some, uh, like make the stat sheet a little, look a little bit better.
kick is up and good. Eight minutes to go in the game, 35 to 14. Rogers doing what they can. We got seven minutes to go with the uh, in the game. That's gonna go right out of bounds, so it'll be a flag. So West has it at the 36 yard line. They better hurry up. Play clock's starting to get down there. Play clock at five. Here's the handoff sweep. And the Mounties are right there. The Mounties have handled the uh, second team West offense pretty well so far. off again to Gaines. We got third down in about seven. Under six minutes to play before this game ends. That is going to fall to 0-6 and, and 0-3 and in conference play. Bentonville West will be 4-2 and two and 3-1. And excuse me, 2-1 and one in conference play. No, sorry, there will be 3-0. 3-0 oh. oh in conference play. Uh, yeah. Right. Here's another handoff that only goes for about three or four. It'll actually bring up fourth and about four. Yeah, they're staying on the field. Nope, they're punting. They're, they're punting. They're not going to do a fake punt up 35 to 14. <laughs> Chris will actually field this off the hop, but there's not a lot of room to run. So four minutes to go in the game. See if the Mounties can score another. They've had two really nice drives in this second half. That's all they've had. They've only had two drives this whole second half. And they've had two touchdowns as a result. Hunter and the first team offense are staying in. Noah Goodshield split out with Chris on the right side. 
Yeah. We'll give a quick shout out to the band. They've been uh, they've been working hard tonight. Band is a sport. Here's Aaron Rendon breaking free. Gets to the 40 yard line. Aaron Rendon finally breaking a couple against this de against this second team defense. Yeah, band uh, band's going off tonight. Yeah. Led by uh, you know who you're led by. Hunter with the uh, quick hitch route to Chris Francisco, who is going to fight forward right at that marker. I think he got the first down at the 30-yard line. Yeah, he did. They're going to move the chains. See if the Mounties can get one more touchdown. And off Rendon slipped as he made the cut. Hunter with time going to the end zone. Chris has a step. He's, no, it's incomplete. He could not hang on. Hunter put it on the dot. Oh, Chris just couldn't haul it in. Just couldn't finish it. Good effort, though. Third down and nine coming up. Hunter going for Mason. He's in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Incomplete. Fourth and nine with less than two minutes to play. This will probably do it. Hunter stepping up, levels Chris for a first down. Drag forward inside the 15 yard line, about about the 11. Chris has had a big day receiving the ball. Hunter with a quick throw, Noah Goodshield. Touchdown, Rodgers. Who else but Mason Ross for six more. 31 seconds to go. Alex Kern, this is a great way to end this game. I'm, I really like seeing this. Doesn't look as bad on the stat sheet. Let's give a shout out to those Mounties for hanging tough. Yeah. Uh, and Good I'm job, Mounties. Alex, I'm going to sign off early. I'm going to go up to the film deck and get our equipment. And I uh, want to say it's a great day to be a Mountie fan. And uh, <laughs> the, second half, the second half was a great day. 21 points. Good job from Hunter Lloyd and the team. So uh, maybe we have some momentum going into Springdale. Hopefully. Thanks, Mr. D. Always, uh, always a pleasure. Thirty seconds to go. Alright, going back to 
Boots it away. There was nobody back deep for Bentonville West. They do field it. Only get about to the 17, 18 yard line. And I think the clock's just gonna run out, so we're gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank y'all for coming out, and uh, we'll see y'all next time in Springdale.